So today I'm gonna attempt to set up this 4x4 and I have totally no experience in doing that. I have never disassembled my 4x4 before, but today we're gonna do that. And let's start by let's start by taking out an edge piece. So okay, so how does this fall apart? So we'll have to loosen the screws or something. Oh yeah, it's starting to come out. The white piece is starting to come out. Oh no. Alright guys, I'm finally making some progress and you can see now it's all falling apart and oh my god, I'm scared I'll lose a piece. The internal white pieces are so small. And that's it, the whole cube is disassembled. And here's the car. Oh my god, the car looks like this, I never knew. So I think we'll have to sort out the pieces so we don't lose any pieces. So right there we have centers, edges, corners and internal pieces. Now we can look at the core. And it's got some flaky pieces right here. Anyways we have to and screw the screws first, so I'm gonna do that. In 3x3, three three, you need to loop the springs and the center piece because the spring touches the center piece and there's a contact point. But right here, you can see that the spring doesn't even touch the screw because the spring is so small. So I only need to loop the top of the screw which is much easier for me but also it's a bit waste of time because I'm spending a lot of time unscrewing these and I've did one so I'm gonna do the rest of them off cam because it takes too long so we finally finished the core step which took a long time and now it's time for assembly and I assume you could assemble it exactly like a 3x3 three three. So we do an edge piece, two edge pieces, and then fill in the corner edge slot So let's just start But here the edge pieces are internal pieces So I guess I'll just grab some internal pieces And I've also noticed that this little piece actually fits with the big piece like this and every single piece is like this. Every single piece has a big piece fitting into a small piece. Just like that. But I have no idea how can I put it into the cube. After one hour, one hour of hard work, I finally did it. Oh my god. I'm so tired right now. I took one whole hour to put the six pieces in. I think this is not the correct method of assembling the cube but I finally did oh my god finally I'm so happy right now so right now we have to fill in the edge pieces carefully I took one hour doing this and putting one set in is easy but two, putting two sets in is like the hardest thing in the world you know putting one set in you can just force it in forcefully but the second putting the second set in is much harder because you can't force it in the other set is right there and I've countless times tried to force it in and the other one comes out. So I finally did. And now we can continue the assembly carefully. So I'm just gonna put in this white piece. So it should be a corner next I think. No I think I should put it in the edge. right here and another edge maybe now it's much easier to fit these three pieces in but you can see that I still have to do it off camera because the camera is disturbing me from doing that and I'm scared I'll fail so let's continue 
and the internal pieces is the hardest part putting putting in the external pieces is just so easy but just now i i recognize this block right here and i can just put it in and i have to experiment with different ways to do it because well i didn't watch a tutorial and i didn't know how to do it so i have been tempted to watch a tutorial actually a few times but i just restrained myself from doing that and i'm sure there's an easier way to assemble this and i'm just doing it the wrong way but I think it's okay actually. Sometimes it's okay to experiment in different ways to assemble. So I did, <coughs> I did a bit of experimenting and I found out that you need to put two set of internal pieces in order to fit in the external pieces so just now just disassembled the whole thing and started again and now we're back at this step and we can continue So we started at 6 a.m. in the morning, and right now it's 7.40 a.m. And we're finally finished assembling the first two layers of the cube. I don't know why I started on green, didn't ask me. So I'm so happy right now. And yeah, you can actually turn the cube right now. So I'm just gonna take a picture for the thumbnail. And then we'll continue the time lapse. So I'm at the last stage of the assembly, and I think I might I might as well tell you what I'm doing. So firstly, I put in this these three one two three as you can see here put it put it in as a set into one of the bars one of the bars right here so i put it right down there where you can see it. you can see it and then we fill in the block so i've already filled it in the bottom layer of the block so let's just continue so here i put in blue and then i put in this wait i put in the Center pieces first. We always do the center pieces first. So here's one. And then we do the middle piece. And after you fill two layers, we need to put another three internal pieces right here. And so we finished a block just like that. And now we're on to the last stage and I didn't know how you we could do this because there's still so many pieces right there but I'm just gonna assemble it like what I did just now so center and then build the first layer and here you go and that's the first layer after that we'll build the second layer so three pieces in total one, two, oh sorry, we need to do the centers first, I forgot. So, one, two, three. Never mind, so here you can see we have the last, last thing. So we still have a lot of pieces. So I'll have to do the corner first, and then put in the centers. Oh no, I can't. How do you even put this big thing in? So I've tried a few times but I could not fit this corner piece in so I assume uh, we just hang it right here right now and then we just hang it there while we put on the center pieces that's one 
So yellow would be hardest. So we're gonna do the other colors first. And we can do yellow now. And I finally fitted it in. And now there's those three edges left. And those should be easy to put in. So. Okay, that's the first one. Second one. And that's the last one. Yes, we did it. Just almost two hours of hard work. <laughs> it's meant to be a setup video, but it kind of transformed into a assembly video. But anyways, we're gonna continue the setup process. So we're gonna tension this thing. And the white side, I need to make the white side much looser because I made it tighter just now so that it could fit uh, I could fit my pieces in and aid the assembly process so I'm just gonna loosen it right now by two and a half turns because that's how I how I tighten it and the cable is a bit too tight so I'm just gonna loosen each side by a quarter turn And I just add a few drops of Maru to make it better and faster because the Aosu WRM is actually quite sluggish for my form. And thanks for watching. Remember to like or subscribe because this video took a long time to make and I still have to edit it and it's just daunting to think about that. So anyways. Goodbye.